Meow Meow and Joe again. We're here today to doing a, another demonstration of the connection between Lax Power SNA unit and um, two units of Palantac uh, US 3000C. So this is a new version of US 3000. We are going to use a protocol of Canvas. For the demonstration purpose, we have already done all the wires connection and you can see I believe you have um, been very familiar with the connection here. So the two units parallel, you have the negative uh, and positive already paralleled and also the power cable here goes to uh, the inverter uh, power port here. Make sure the negative and the positive ones are correct. This is the master battery and the communication cable from inverter comes here from our CAN and RS485 and it goes to the master battery A CAN so you can see it's here and another cable for between the two batteries from the port 1 to another slip battery port 0 so the communication cable is right and make sure the pin out for the battery side is referred to the battery user menu and uh, the pin out for the inverter you can refer them to our user menu as well so once all the cables uh, the variance is done and make sure the AC uh, the grid cable and also the load cable AC output is all correct and then we can start powering the systems on so first step we uh, we pull on the battery first, right? Yeah. So firstly, the two switch here, and then you press the uh, the red switch button here, and then the master battery will uh, wake up the slip battery as well. And the next step, you're going to power on the inverter switch here. It's already switched on. As soon as you switch on the inverter, and the battery will wake up. The next step, we're going to set up the battery parameters in the LCD and solid hit the enter button for about sef, uh, five seconds, and then you will be able to go into the setting page. Uh, uh, this is the first one, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the common settings, uh, the time and everything. And the next one is uh, about the panels. So we're not going, because we don't have any panels um, connected here, so we're going to skip this one. And the next one, the number three, is battery settings. Okay, so when you, uh, when you, whenever you go into a certain icon, this one will flash in, and it reminds you you can you're about you're ready to set set up um, the details inside. And we can enter in, we can enter, and then we'll go into. You can see the uh, the the type is flashing. That means we can select different types of the ba of battery. Uh, the, the default one is lithium ion, but if you want to choose um, no battery uh, or lead acid battery, and then you can just um, enter in. Okay, so we have choose uh, lithium ion, and then we're about to choose the brand, the battery brand here. So because we have a pylon uh, battery here, so the number one is going to be the one we choose. Number one means pylon battery, the protocol in. Oh, number two, I'm sorry. Number two, and you select number two battery um, here, and then we're ready with Palin. And um, okay, we enter again. The battery brand is um, selected, and then it will flash back to the normal, and it will show quickly about the voltage, uh, the SOC, and the capacities. Mm -hmm. We have uh, two That's units. Wild. Yeah, because we have a disconnected uh, with a cable just a while ago, so it takes a, it takes some time to um, detect this is pylon tech battery and will show the correct info. Oh, here we go. We have the voltage right, the SOC, and also uh, the capacity because we don't charge or discharge at the moment, so we have zero uh, kilowatt, but we have about 150 amps hour. Um, this is correct. Okay, and um, yeah, this is pretty mu pretty much 
or about uh, how to set with battery. If you have a different uh, types of battery, and then you probably uh, select lead acid, or you have another lithium battery, and then you can refer to our user manual which number means what battery, and make sure the those settings are correct. Because um, we commonly have uh, inquiries or installers coming to us saying we have a problem showing the warning phase with double zero code, that means the communication failure. And then you might need to check your cables, make sure both head of the of the crystal head is uh, with right pink uh, pin out. And also, uh, it goes to the red port. Uh, this is going to the master can. And also, the battery is uh, well organized. So, yeah, thank you.